Hi everybody, welcome to my new tutorial, I am SV and today we will do like this. In today's video I will show you how to make animation of optical flares. We will use our Cinema 4D and we will use Adobe After Effects with additional uh, plugins from uh, Video Copilot. Uh, additionally, I will show you how to make a boolean object and how to animate a camera. So, if you are ready, let's start! We are in Cinema 4D and first of all I will create a spline text. So, going to spline and text. Uh, font I will use... I will use like this, Ravi. I like this font and text. Motion. Tutorial. Cinema 4D. By SV. Very good. I have text. Now I will put to middle. And pick up little bit up. Like, like this. Okay. Uh, I need to make little bit distance between letters. So going to horizontal spacing and increase maybe up to 20. Just to be sure that no any letters going to other letter. This is very important mm -hmm. because later we will use a very interesting options. So we are going to spline and create rectangle. Increase this rectangle maybe 5000 up to 5000. Then I going to tools and select spline mask. Uh, this tool will connect. Uh, this tool connect all splines which are put inside like a child. So I put inside. Go in here and make a subtract B. Uh, this tool working absolutely same like a, like a bool, but bool working for object for mesh and this working for spline. Now I need for spline. After that, I going to extrude and make a spline mask like a child of extrude. Okay, what I have? I have some plane, whereas I have a very nice text without any problem of ages. I will make maybe 50 centimeters or maybe 40. 40 will be good. 40 centimeters. Okay, what I will do now? I make a copy of this spline. Ah, no. I will show you this little bit later. So, uh, now we are create a light. I will work with redshift. I'm going to redshift, reduce 4, 4, force enable, take out, going to bucket render, increase, make a spiral. And for a moment I will keep like this. What I will do now, I create a redshift light spotlight. As you know, a uh, blue one is direction of this spot. So I turn like this and put this light behind my object. Now I'm going to light, go to unit type and make a radiant power and increase too much. Maybe like this. What I have? If I render, come on, I have like this. Very good. What I have to do now, I go to settings of my redshift and go to basic and environment and create atmosphere. Go to settings of my spotlight, volume and this scale increase just little bit, 0, 0, 001, not necessary to make more. And what I have, I have very nice uh, volume light. So, how I will use it? Distance will be like this. I think distance will be like this. I just like to make it more white. Okay, now we will make animation of this light. But before animation of this light, I have to send it to the back, zero, and create just normal, uh, mm, normal Cinema 4D light. I need it later for my uh, Adobe After Effects. So, just create normal light, standard light. 
and intensivity take out up to zero. Oh, sorry, zero. Make this light like a child of my spotlight, and when I move my spotlight, reach, uh, my Cinema 4D light also moving. Okay, I hope you are understood what I mean. So, now we will make some animation of this light. How to do it? First of all, I will do 250 frames. This is, will be my composition. Then I will go somewhere here, put this light, middle, then take spline and make some something like something like this. Okay. Okay. Finish. So, I go to my spotlight and apply tag align to spline. Then, inside in the tag properties, I put down my spline. And what I have now, if I move this position, my light will moving on this spline. Very good. I go to spline, make maybe natural to make it more, more easy moving. And what I will do now, just little bit change, just little bit, little bit maybe, maybe apply like this like this okay somewhere here it's up to you absolutely up to you what you will do and what we will do uh, I take my tag spline for 0 k frame I make a 0 position for last frame, I will make 100% and make again K frame. What I have? Okay, animation will be like this. Very nice. What I will do now? I will apply some camera. So just to proper look, I go to my shading, quick shading. Uh, take my spline. Mm -hmm. It's not good. I make like this. Okay, take spline and put back maybe 1000. About one, about 1000. Okay. What I will do now, I go to camera, make a copy of the spline. We will call it camera spline. This is, will be light spline okay take camera and apply same spline for camera but inside i put camera spline so take the spline and put somewhere here maybe i don't know then look through the camera and i have like this so now if i move back i will have like this animation and for this tag I will use also position. So here will be zero and frame number this will be one hundred. So check how it's working. Very nice. Very nice. It's working. Uh, what I will do now maybe i will change a little bit uh, some points of my spline so going to top view and front view take the spline go to point selection and make maybe maybe this point no maybe this point i put little bit back this point little bit forward 
this point also a little bit back and what I have if I play again I will have like this animation going back again back it's like a jumping of a camera so very nice uh, now I will create one more camera take out this going back and create one more camera we will call it at like a main camera uh, or maybe not main final camera okay uh, I go inside go to coordinates and make it zero zero maybe three thousand zero zero okay three thousand too much 2500 okay this is will be like a, my last camera so i go to approximately frame 2000 200 make keyframe go to last and push back 3000 not too much only like this so my camera will move like like this very good what i will do now i create one more camera and call it main camera for this camera i apply a tag i apply a motion camera tag morph in source mode i will change to multimorph and put inside these two cameras so i put camera and put final very good what I have if I move it will change between two different cameras so uh, approximately on the frame number somewhere here approximately frame number 180 maybe maybe before 170 I will make a 0k frame and then up to frame number 220 i will apply 100 percent how it will work look first working my camera number zero i mean just normal camera and then automatically is going to somewhere here will be very nice animation so if i render what i have i have very nice uh, volume light and moving of camera but i have to apply some material so how i will do it maybe i will increase extrude maybe 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 up to 50 percent just to make sorry it's too much it's too much 50 50 centimeters what i have i will make more extrude so i will apply some redshift material just make a like a metal so i take out a color i go to reflection and change the settings Fresnel type for white and white color very good and apply it to my extrude what I have if I render now I have like this nice uh, nice specular very nice specular but I don't like to receive the specular on my front how to fix this problem it's very very simple so take this extrude hold counter on your keyboard drag and drop drop somewhere here and create one more material where is you full take out uh, any reflection and any color it will be only black solid black and apply this material to my extrude number two which is will be only only one centimeter so go to top view take this extrude you see it's like this and put somewhere somewhere here very nice what i have i will make a render what i have okay only in this area i will have some reflection and my front view will be without any additional reflections so i hope you understood what i mean it is very nice and now i go to settings go to settings no we will do one more light final light it will be area light i take out some camera it will be area light 
as you know blue one is direction so I turn put somewhere sorry put backside and I increase this light I going to general and I increase size of this light maybe somewhere here and like this very good so uh, I make it visible and I put it behind my line which is moving somewhere here okay for what I needed when it will be last came frame I will apply intensity and I will have like this so I think I will make a little bit more a little bit more like this and a little bit more like this check again okay very nice very nice I have it going to render settings uh, I will use multipass for this render I will use multipass how to apply for redshift my multipass you have to go AOV and make it enable I need only one multipass pass on of my plane so I will make add only one multipass push it enable and type of my multipass you see I have all types depths of field depths yes shadows ambient occlusion I have almost everything but I need only object ID only this I will call object number one doesn't matter so how to tell to redshift this is my extrude and extrude one this is object ID number one it's very simple go to tags go to redshift tag and apply redshift object and inside I will put one so extrude extrude one will be object number one which is will have uh, multipass oh, you see it's automatically enabled multipass automatically so what we will do now go to output and change 576 white very white I will do like this 25 frames per second go to save PNG and folder optical flare titles save I will put like a main okay go to multipass MH I will use also PNG and I will call it multi save and going down for compositing project file I will make save for after effects and including 3d data 3d data okay when you will do everything like this you will go to redshift settings okay now I try to show you how to optimize your rendering as you can see now I will render yeah as you can see uh, quality I will make 100% it's not so not so good you see too much noise if I will increase maybe like this and render again yes of course you're right I will have more more beautiful you see more beautiful volume light which is coming everywhere but it's taken more longer time more longer time now you will check it different so only three seconds and 22 seconds but now it looks like more better as you can see 22 seconds is too much so how to reduce it for this reason I will use simple sampling overrides so what I have uh, minimum subdivision I will put to maximum I will put to I no need too much but here I have a volume volume light so my volume light I will put 256 because I like a quality of these volumes you see and we will check what we have now yes override you see uh, volumes I have like here absolutely same but quality 
not so good. As you can see, some, some comment is bad quality because I have only two samples. So now I have to find some, I don't know, some decision. Maybe I will use 16 only, 16. And for volume light, I will use one to eight, maybe like this. Okay, check now, override. Okay, I like it. Five seconds, not so big different, but as you can see, uh, my letters is not so sharp, yeah? So, and only five seconds. You see, I reduce quality between this and this. Almost not possible to see when 100%. If you increase, yes, you can see, but it's not too much and different almost in four times so i will use this render settings and i will use this re render settings and now i will animate my backlight so area light i go somewhere maybe maybe here and make it zero apply i going to last frame okay maybe zero will be here going to last frame and make it one okay very good and i will do almost same for my optical flares i will go somewhere here optical flares and apply and going maybe maybe only somewhere here and we'll do zero and zero to make minimum illumination so if i render this page it will be only only letters if i render this page i will have little bit volume light and slowly coming my illumination very good so i go to main camera look through the camera and check one more time animation okay I think I also have to change some rotation of my camera. So I take my camera, go to tax and apply vibrate tag. Enable rotation. I will make a small speed and make maybe only only 10 degrees. What I have, I will check. It's not working. Maybe more, maybe just check what will be with 50 degrees. very strange very strange maybe i have to put somewhere maybe somewhere here check again okay yes i have i have so, yes not the main camera because here i use this uh tag somewhere here and i will use a uh, 15 15 and 15 and speed maybe 0 0.2 only so very nice very nice uh, when everything done when everything done all settings is done push to render and wait i will do render today in real time just to show you how it's coming on my computer as you can see oh sorry i forget i forget to make a uh, all frames render and wait now i increase the speed and you will check how it will be finally okay render completed as you can see it's taken 17 minutes 17 minutes speed was of course increased so now i go to adobe after effect double click go to my desktop 
go to optical flares title and inside inside you will have also i have like this file adobe after effect aec what you need only import this file nothing more and you have some folders folders with multipass and folders with main object and i have some composition so double click to this composition and all information lights camera everything coming inside okay i no need camera and final camera absolutely i no need it i need only main camera which is moving like my animation uh, i have to change some settings for my lights as you remember in uh, cinema 4d i take out all intensity of this light so I push this light on your keyboard push key, u and take out intensity keyframes just zero uh, i mean take out and increase up to 100 mm, again up to 100 okay very good what i have to do now create new solid we call it optical optical flare go to effects video copilot and add optical flare very good what we have to do now change and found i don't know what what you like it's absolutely up to you but i think i will use maybe 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 like this so i like it very nice okay going to optical flares and make screen mode you see is in one position how to put this optical flares inside in my light going to options of optical flares and change source type for track light as you can see now it's moving it's moving directly where is i need it okay but i like to receive illumination only when i can see this light uh, as you know this light is behind how to do it for this reason i need to add my multipass downstairs i don't need this multipass so take out visible go to optical flares go to foreground layer layer number one and source layer make a multipass go to sample method and make it luma what i have when light is behind the letters will be like this when i can see this light will be like this uh, light radius i increase maybe in maybe up to 20 okay will be like this as you can see very 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 nice moving very nice moving i have some lights just play and check what we have okay very nice very nice and approximately here my animation will be finished just check one more time okay light light still coming very good okay i like it so uh create one more adjustment layer go to effects magic bullet if you have if you haven't you can make any color correction I will use maybe maybe classic blockbuster okay okay you see yes how it will be it will be very very looks like nice nice and some sound so I prepare some few sounds for my tutorial just drag inside open audio form go somewhere here 
keyframe and frame number zero minimum and add one more new solid just black going back opacity keyframe 10 frames more zero go somewhere here keyframe last zero what i have very nice when everything done go to composition and add to media encoder going to media encoder i think you have other english version maybe some other language it's i don't know and save somewhere on the desktop we call it optical optical flyers titles i think somewhere here mistake maybe like this okay save overwrite and play so i will wait little bit i will show you in real time how it working maybe just little bit increase speed Okay, it's taken 25 seconds. Now I go to my desktop and check what I have finally. So, looks like very nice. If you like my this tutorial, please subscribe, please put like, share it to your friends, uh, check my previous tutorials and see you next time. Goodbye.